Hello everyone and welcome to week number 7 of the 2015 season of the Emerald Madden League here on Madden NFL 15 on the Xbox One. A couple things off the top before we get started. First and foremost, uh, I'd like to wish everybody watching from the United States a happy Thanksgiving. May you have safe travels if you have not already traveled to your destination for the holiday. And may your day be filled with lots of family, food, and, of course, football. So, now that that's out of the way, I uh, also wanted to go over, if anybody's watching this on YouTube after the fact, uh, and you've been following along there, you may notice that, and I actually just noticed this, that um, the Week 4 video is nowhere to be found for this season. Um, I don't know exactly what happened. I've been a little bit behind in exporting my Twitch broadcasts, and I just noticed when I went to check them that week four is not there. That was the one that I tried to record while I was away from home. I was away for a week down in Alpharetta, Georgia, and I recorded one while I was in the hotel room, and I thought it recorded, but apparently it did not. So, if you're looking for week four, uh, sorry, <laughs> you're out of luck, and probably it's for the best because that was a brutal game on my part. I think I lost that one 24 to nothing or something like that. So, anyways, that's there. Obviously, um, week six is not here because that was my bye week, so... Here we go, week seven, coming off of the bye, sitting at three and two, getting ready to take on the two and four Tennessee Titans. So let us get this ball rolling. And here we go. Alright, so as per usual, let's uh get the recruitment spiel going. If you're interested in joining a connected franchise league for Madden NFL fifteen Head on over to iongamecorner.wix.com slash iongc. Hit the Madden 15 page on the right-hand side. They'll give you all the info, the rules, and the teams that are taken for both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 leagues. To join the Emerald Madden League here on Xbox One, you want to contact me. My gamer tag is Arethius on Xbox Live. You can also contact me via email, iongamecorner at gmail.com. Or via Twitter at Ion Game Corner. For the PlayStation 4 League, you want to talk to Nick. You can reach him on PlayStation Network. His handle there is Cagone, K A G O N E. You can also reach him via Twitter at Nick Oliver87. And while we're at it, I'd like to again wish Nick a very happy birthday. Yesterday, the 26th of November, was. Ready to kick it away next birthday. We had a nice little surprise party for him that was not actually a <laughs> surprise, but isn't that usually how it works? Most surprise parties tend not to end up being a surprise for the person. So, happy birthday, Nick. Thank you for handling the PlayStation 4 League this year. Alright, so we are here for game number six of the season. It's been an interesting season so far. A little bit up, a little bit down. Definitely feeling a little bit better about the team than I did in, in the last season, but there's still, still ways to go. Biggest improvements have been offensively in the running game and the offensive line play, which has helped the passing game a bit. Second and eleven. Bortles got the football after the play fake. Quarterbacks always love play action passes. Why? Because it usually gives them a little more time to throw. You get more time. But still struggling on offense generally. That that week four game I think really hurt because you know, getting shut out. Um, 
it's really hurt my points per game average, which right as of right now, going into this game, and uh, you may have seen it while I was doing my intros off the top, that I am sitting at number 32 in the league once again, dead last in offense, and I'm third in the league in defense, so... And I apologize in advance, uh, A, for my voice. I don't know what happened. It's, it is first thing in the morning, so my voice is not quite woken up yet. But if you hear any, uh, I'm going to try and mute myself if I sniffle. I think I might be coming down with that kind of cold. Keep uh, sniffling out of the microphone if I can avoid it for you guys. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Offense lines up here. Complete to Lewis. Nice tackle. The defense thinks they have the guys to play man-to-man -man coverage. So they're at the risk of uh, putting the jinx on. Nice little drive so far here. Pretty uh, efficient. A couple of run plays that have gone nowhere, but that one. Alright, so we got eight in the box here, so hopefully we're going to watch the blitz here on this play action. Down and ten. Keeps it here. He'll find it down to the left. The Jaguars. Get a first down. You have to be very careful as a quarterback not to turn the football over. Good decision that time by the quarterback. Gets the completion. And they get a nice solid pick up that time. Offense lines up here. First and goal. Outside now on the toss. McCourty's in on the tackle. My receivers hold their blocks for a smidge longer here. The Jaguars doing their part to spread breast cancer awareness this month in the NFL. Plenty of pink on their uniforms today and throughout the stadium. Can't find the target on the pass underneath. Right. Third and goal here from the six. Who's willing to fight the hardest? We'll find out here in a second. That is play number ten on this drive. In a audible Lewis into an in route here. Play after play after play here on this drive. Can I smart route him into the end zone? I can. Ooh, that was good. Third and goal at the six. Oh. Oh, oh. And he's taken down. Oh, frustrating. Here we go. Here comes the field goal. Unit. <laughs> he did not try to force the football down the field. Probably should have also hot routed one of the wide receivers into a slant instead of having them run the comebacks. You know, if it was third and goal from about the 10 yard line. I think those comeback routes would have been all right, but you know, when you're going four yards into the end zone on a comeback route, it's, it's an odd route, to say the least, unless you're doing like a back shoulder throw. But usually on those, uh, those comebacks, they turn to the inside. Which is generally not the way you want to be throwing the ball into the end zone. The Jaguars come out in the nickel with drop back. Throws the pass. Oh. And Gaze there to take him down. Matt Flynn. Matt Flynn's the quarterback here. They love to see cover three because they know they're going to drop back and just throw the short passes underneath. Good job by the quarterback taking advantage of this defense. The Titans have been involved in some tight games these past two weeks. They won one last week, but now they've nice by the corner. Close one, Phil. 
given these close games, which we seem to see almost every single week. William Gay in on the tackle. Which team doesn't turn the football over? Here's the Titans offense. This is an efficient group. Last week, send the linebacker here in the blitz. Just once. The Titans come see if we can force a quick throw. Second down and 11. He's got the catch. We did not force a quick throw, and the coverage was not good. The defensive back on the inside of a wide receiver. You have a corner route on. Make sure you throw it towards the sideline. Let the wide receiver outrun the defensive back, and he makes a nice catch. Go for the first, so good first drive, which took up most of the first quarter. But now the uh, defense needs to uh, wake up a little bit here. Flynn by himself in the backfield. Oh, reverse that. The second quarter is underway with this snap. Incomplete. Think, thankfully, that was Matt Flynn at quarterback there. I probably should have tried to um, down here. set my coverage in the man line in order to get guys matched up because there was. I, was it, I think it was Delaney Walker. Ooh, he sacked there. Asen, you're coming. That wasn't even a dialed up blitz. It was a read his coverage with the back staying in the block, I think. Um, that play before, it looked like uh, Delaney Walker had safety set to cover him, who was on the opposite side of the formation, which could have spelled trouble. And another sack. Here we go. That'll force a punt. Nice little uh, nice little wake up call there for the defense. We'll push him back out of field goal range. And not a very good punt, so we'll take that. It's a good shotgun here. First down here. They've come out in the dime package. Here we go. Here we go. And the carry to Ryan Matthews. That's a gain of six. Florida is nothing like a draw play. It just catches the defense by surprise. And running backs, they love it because they know they have a chance to get some easy yards. The Jaguars take it from the 33. Lee's got it. And a first. Not always a fan of that little short inside hitch route, but open against man to man coverage. Throw it to the open space. Let the receiver outrun the defensive back. Nice completion. Work there. Come out in a dime package. First down at the 41. Keeps it on the play fake. It's Lee. Got some heat coming there. <laughs> Get rid of that quickly. Run and pass. That time the pass catches the defense off guard. They pick up solid yards. Now it's second and short. Here we go now. Put second up. and three. It's Lee. Marquise Lee show so far in this drive. <laughs> you got to be agile when you make these kind of catches, running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. The Titans with two extra defensive backs in the dime. First and ten. Matthew taken down at the 39. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second down, three to go. And Matthews has got the catch and the first. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first they down. They left Matthews wide open Pick there, so take advantage of that. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. The Titans go with the dime formation here on defense. First down at the 28. Throwing now to his left. Yeah, I didn't like what I saw there, so no sense in trying to force a throw into somebody. Failing 
to complete that one. So second down. See if here. we can't get this to Robinson on the uh, corner out here. Look for the defense on this play. We got a blitz coming from that side, so we'll have to watch to see how they line up on defense. Portal's gonna take it from the gun. Get rid of it. No, don't pump fakes. Get rid of it. I don't know if they were <laughs> oh, I hate when they do that. But the left side of the they just throw the ball. They were not aggressive. They got pushed back. Right, and they so give third and 21. It's uh, going to send Lee on a streak up the middle. See if it opens up. Have to watch that middle linebacker in the corner cover him. The Jaguars take it from the 38. Oh. The quarterback to the ground. Half time, two minutes away. Rough. That was rough. So punt this one away. Easily. Fourth and 29. So that was tough. They uh, did exactly what I did to them last drive and just pushed them right out of field goal range. This looks good. Nice. Down to six. We'll take that. Difficult spot to be in from here. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Glenn's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Has his man brought down after a gain of six. Interesting that they're not in the no huddle here. I guess they're... Concern would be that if you uh, go quick three and out, that you're really going to be given dynamite field position to the opponent. The slam pad is caught and comes up a couple yards short of a first down. Makes the catch but didn't get the feet Ooh. down. Was a break. That was an incomplete pass that time against cover two. The two deep like safeties. Five, five. You really want to throw that. the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that, and that's why it was incomplete. Corners formation here for the defense. Lens back in shotgun formation. It was right nice. There, but he didn't so there's a quick three and out. So it'll give us uh, some time here. And should have some really good field position to work with. Try and put up some more points before the half. And to keep in mind is that... Oh, good punt. Still decent field position, but not as good as it could have been. So the uh, Titans will be getting the ball to start the second half. So they come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Touchdown here would uh, go a long way to being a uh, very big help. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun, looking to the right side and throwing. Lewis has got the catch and the first. First down here after the completion, wasting little time. Here we go. Two forty-five. Portal standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Throws to the right. Just nice. That safety was making me a little nervous. Right now, they've got a quarterback who's moving the football through the air, and that's a big reason why they're leading this game. If that's right, that's why they're leading the game. Boy, I'd hate to be a defensive back out there today. He's got a bounce on the no huddle again here. They've got awesome rhythm, and that's why they're playing so well. Good job by the offense getting another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field. So, that defense where are we here? Hands on their knees. Well, 14, they I think, so. The Go with the screen pass. At the line for the first down after that completion. Robinson's lined up in the slot. Here we go. Set up screen. Has his target. That brings the play to an end. I'm not going to no huddle here because I would like to make sure that they don't see the ball. Formations move and do whatever it takes to give your players an advantage. That time they get a nice play call. They throw the pass and complete it for a good solid pickup. There we go. Touchdown. Nice. Now that's a two minute drive right there. <laughs> you don't see too many of those from me with this Jaguars team. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Oh, I never sent out the tweet that I was going live. Let's not do that now. <laughs> Oops. I always get the tweet ready and then start the broadcast to make sure that there's no hiccups and alert people to a broadcast that's not going to happen. 
take it from the four. Right, so 22 seconds left here. They're probably just going to run the clock out. That's what it looks like. So. First down here. A nice, nice first half here. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The tackle was made. After running it, it's second down. And that should to halftime and it does <laughs> so 10 nothing at the half so good good uh, half so far for the defense first drive was a little shaky to start with but clamped down as they got into field goal range and pushed them back so it was uh, some positive so far should probably be 14 nothing right now that first drive just stalled in the red zone. Even should the inside the ten, which is even worse. They come to the line and it's first down. So we can uh, keep it going here in the second half. They bring in the extra tight end. Davis gonna secure the handoff. Gets about four yards that time. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's gonna wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The Titans take it from the 23. Nice. Gets a sack. And this defensive end, Jim, he is some talent. That time, good job. Makes the move, shows the speed, and gets around there and gets the sack. Split backfield here. Third and nine. Screen. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Good job. Not the other way. So there we go. Another nice three and out for the defense. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down. He kicks this to the offensive right side because that is the way I think my return is set up. Oh no, and of course it went the other way. Come back the other way, boys. <laughs> Ugh. Not mean to do that, but that time he only gets a couple yards. And if I'd have been the right, punt returner uh, that time, I would have called for a fair catch. See if we can't get another nice, all around you, there was nice no long drive like we had the uh, beginning of the first quarter here. And Matthews is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back, and the tackle is made at the 41. We take up a chunk of this uh, third quarter. But it's tough to do so when you're constantly being hit. Yeah, no matter what you do as a quarterback, though, you can't start looking at Really? The That's what we're going to show for Bortles right now? Focus down the field and you can't flinch. Then he sacked twice on back to back plays, and that's it. That's definitely the story of this game so far. Shorts lined up now as a slot receiver. Complete to Lewis. My uh, What's the old expression? Just move the my primary on that play was jammed to the line of scrimmage and was really throwing off the timing there, so I had to had to go to my second option. First down and ten, and the give to Ryan Matthews, tackle down right around the 47. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap. And they hold that run to a short game. So it was shorts that I was looking for in that prior play, and he got jammed at the line, so shorts gonna get set in the slot. waiting for him to be able to break into... Oh, come on. Waiting for him to break into his route would, uh, would have been bad news. All right, so I think we're going to look for Harbor on the prize of the primary here. And Matthews is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Makes the reception. There we go. And he's tackled, but not until he picks up the first down. Feeding him a lot in this game. Which is a shame because he declined my contract extensions. What the hell am I giving him the ball for? 
<laughs> First and ten. Ryan Matthews takes the handoff. Stafford there to take him down. Defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, the defense is Wow, look at that time of possession. That's a beautiful thing right there. It's 13 minutes to five. The NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see that right there, boys and girls, is a recipe for success. The Jaguars snap it at the 31. Here's the get outside. Here we go. Nice. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Matthews is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. We got Lattimore checking in now. Offense lines up here. First down at the 26. Gets about nine on the play. Ken, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. That's second down coming up. Let's hit a run for Lattimore. Let's see if we can get a, another one from here. Lattimore lines up in the backfield. We'll go ground. And run. Get the first. Close. Yeah, we did. There we go. This will be probably the last play of the third. Matthews comes back in. He's not having a gangbusters game on the ground, but look that changes as we go. Oh. Two point seven. Even though it has been really yeah. ineffective to this point. No, I'd say this. I've been going with the play. pass. You know, you can win the game yeah. in the NFL. We'll just let this go to the fourth quarter. Football. That's what they're going to have to do here today. The run game, it's been rough, and I don't so see it. So it was exactly what I was looking for out of that drive there. Basically took up the, virtually the entire third quarter. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, Which, uh, you're, it's now second down and You're up by more than one score. It's, uh, the long drive Three, continues. Pretty handy. Now you're really reducing what time the, the opponent has to try and make a comeback. The Jaguars will be playing at home next week, while the Titans will be on the road in Oakland. After that last run, it sets up third and six. Hello. That's my white dude. All right, let's see. Uh, have a look at Black in here. Nice. Get in there. Ah, oh, one. That's right. This means I can take some more time off this clock. All that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20 yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete See if we can't catch some jam in the middle here and go outside. I'm actually going to go the other way. Get a block. Here we go. Perfect. Granted, this Titans team is clearly not good. It's here at 2-4, and four, but it's been a pretty complete game, which is uh, nice to see. So three scores, 5.47 left, and pretty, uh, pretty comfortable position to be in, shall we say. Steps back onto the field for his next drive. Offense lines up here. The Titans from the 22. He'll throw it over the middle, and that's a gain of 10. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times, but one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. Flynn by himself in the backfield. First down at the 32. Wright's got it. First down. Number 10. That was a nice curl route by the wide receiver. In the old days, they used to call that the button hook. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. 
Matt Flynn is lined up in the shotgun formation. Good coverage by Gay that time. As that was a rough throw. Goes incomplete. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. The Titans will take the snap from the 45. On the money, Paul Pozlesny makes the tackle. You got to be able to run, run these drag routes across the field. The throw cannot always be right on target. Can you reach behind, make the catch, and keep going full speed? That's the sign of a good receiver. Third and nine. Matt Flynn looking down the field. Incomplete. Nice defense there. Flynn Gay having himself a game. Going for it here on North. The coach is going Send a little to nickel for pressure it. here. Offense Maybe get a sack and end this. Glenn's got it in the gun. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> a little dangerous for a second there. Yeah, let's uh, see if we can't hound this out and finish this game off. The Jaguars getting ready now to start their drive. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Now first and ten. Matthews. I was hoping I could get Blackman um, on the other side of the uh, formation. Have to be happy with those numbers. Yes, Jim, I'm sure they're happy what they've done. They've made the offense one-dimensional. So when you have an offense that can't run, just think about one thing. And what's that? Go after that quarterback. We'll throw here on second down. See if we can't make a more manageable third down here. Just a quick drop back. Looking across the middle. We'll just pick up the first down. Let's <laughs> take that. Uh, that's some nice numbers there for Bortles. 16 of 18, just over 200 yards, so I'm not going to be doing a lot of throwing here for the rest of the way, but so I'm not going to get near 300 yards. But. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. It's a two tight end formation. Second down and six. And Matthews has handed the football and a gain of four. That'll get us to the two minute warning. It just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good positive run. There you go. And now we reach the two minute warning. So we'll see if we can just run this clock out the rest of the way. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. They start using their, tight, their timeouts here. So if we can't sneak oh, no. in, we'll first down. There we go. And that'll gain just a few yards. Oh, they're not going to use their timeouts. <clears throat> Good job by the offensive line there on third and short. Even though it must the be uh, down by enough to run. think that there's Still no chance. Get in there <laughs> and barely get that first down. The Jaguars are the other way line of scrimmage and loading up that line with an extra tight end. And the give to Ryan Matthews. And Matthews is brought down. The defense got to be Normally in the situation, I'd probably just be bleeding the clock, but I'd like to see if I can get Matthews some more yards here at the end of the game. Coming up, second down. They bring in the extra tight end. He's going to get another carry. Slashes to the left side. Oh. Oh. Well, at least he's not hurt. <laughs> well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit him so hard. I think that, so was, uh, that was football uh, karma no catching up to me right on. there. <laughs> Hits the ground and the defense recovers. What? You want to try and rack up yards? 
but you rack up a turnover. Almost intercepted. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Second and ten. Looks to his left. Incomplete as that ball. With a half a second of the head sack there. Going five wide. That for and it's a third down play, and this was something they specialized in last week. Converting in these situations. Here. Third and ten. Looking to the right oh. side and throwing. Oh. Don't make tackle. There we go. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to four. <laughs> they're going to call, <laughs> call time on so they can punt. Really? <laughs> Oh, point. Blackman's gonna look for space now. Uh oh. <laughs> He's going to give his team great starting field position on that return. Yeah, well, uh, well, the offense, they need to pat him on the hiney when he comes off the field. A few what more a good job here. by the punt returner. Puts him in good field position. First down on the way. Because if I fumble again, I'm gonna regret that decision. Since I might be killing Matthew's confidence. Gets the handle here. They bring him down in the middle of the field at the 50. Well, even though they have a lead here, it's late in the fourth quarter. You still got to be unpredictable. Keep the defense on edge. As I always say, make the defense react and not attack. So, so I'm doing one more here. That'll what probably be run. it. Here we go now. Second and six. And Matthews is going to take the handoff now. It's about managing the football game. That's why they ran the football right there. Not a big game, but sometimes you Red have line, to be quickly. We're running out of time. <laughs> You're trying to get rid of the clock. You got to run it. Third down and four. He'll get it again. A couple of yards. Up maybe three. Now you start to get a little more. There we go. Last week, and you pick up another victory. Solid victory. Today. Seventeen to awesome, nothing. It, uh, you know. Athletes are incredible. Jaguars over the Titans. Like so I look at the stats the here. Game, they believe nice efficient they day from Bortles. Uh, 16 of 18 for 201 so yards. 88% completion percentage. One touchdown, no interceptions. Take that every day. 131.7 rating. Matthews, 24. Rushes for 72 yards. Three yards of rush, which eh, not terrible. Not great either, but one touchdown. Finally, someone other than Cecil Shorts leading the way. As it was Mercedes Lewis, four receptions for 57 yards, but Shorts did have the one touchdown. And defensively, I don't think there's anything that really jumps out. Oh, Red Bryant did have two sacks, so that'll go in the recap. No picks in the game, but the big zero on the scoreboard for the Titans. So that's that's the big news there. So good game for the defense. So that's Finish this up. <coughs> Excuse me. Head on back to the menu to wrap this one up. Get over to the action screen. Oh. Looks like the Rams are leaving St. Louis. Interesting. Anyway, there we go. Once again, a final score. The Jaguars 17, the Titans nothing. To increase the Jaguars to 4-2, and two, which may be the most games over 500 I've been so far this year. All right, let's wrap this thing up. Uh, if you, once again, if you are interested in... A connected franchise league for Madden NFL 15, head on over to iongamecorner.wix.com slash iongc. Hit the Madden 15 page on the right hand side. It'll give you all of the info, the rules, and the teams that are taken for both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 leagues. 
you're interested in joining the Emerald Madden League here on Xbox One, you want to contact me. My gamer tag is Aretheus. You see it right there on the screen under the Jags logo. You can also contact me via email, iongamecorner at gmail.com, or on Twitter at iongamecorner. If you follow me there, you'll also find out, and hopefully not a half into a game, when I'm going live. For the PlayStation 4 League, you want to talk to Nick. His handle on PlayStation Network is Kagone, K-A-G-O-N-E. And you can also reach him on Twitter at NickOlivera87. So... There you go. Once again, week number seven in the books. The Jaguars victorious over the Titans here, 17 to nothing. Once again, I'd like to wish all of the folks watching this from the U.S. a very happy and safe and fun Thanksgiving. Thanks for checking this out, and we will catch you next time for week eight, 2015 season. The Emerald Land League here. Madden NFL 15 on the Xbox One.